And here I thought you were going to run all night. Come quietly, and I'll make it quick and painless. Mostly painless. Oh, so that's how it is. Well, it'll be more fun this way. I do so enjoy when my prey fights back. Wow, aren't you a show-off? Setting your sword ablaze with blue flames. And what am I supposed to do? Run away, scared? I'm not some villager with a pitchfork. Do you honestly think that would work on one of the best hunters in the Order? Well, shall we? I don't have all night. I can't even land a single hit. And it's taking all I've got just to keep up with them. They've had the chance to cut me down several times. Why are they just toying with me? Ah. Do it. Kill me. But know that I won't be the... What? Why don't you want to kill me? You could have, but you didn't. Why? <laughs> You're not a threat to me. I'll show you how much of a threat I can be. I'm not going to stop hunting you. You will have to answer for what you have done. All of the lives that you've taken. Wait! Don't you dare walk away from me. I said, wait. What? How? That was a silver bullet. And it went right through your heart. You shouldn't be able to stand after something like that, let alone walk. I'm not letting you get away. What the hell are you? Ugh. so cold. Hey, are those my clothes? Ah! Mm. Why am I naked? Who's there? Show yourself. I'm armed, so don't try anything funny. I'm warning you. Oh, oh. Why are you still here, Damon? I thought you'd be long gone by now. It's strange. They have no horns. They do look surprisingly human for a monster. No, they can't be human. I shot them twice, and that swordsmanship, it was... Inhuman. Um, what? Sorry, I was lost in thought for a moment. Can you repeat the question? Well, the last thing I remember is... While you were running away from me, you stopped and we fought, and I fell. I remember I felt really cold. Cold enough it felt like my bones were going to break. 
Wait. Was it you who dragged me out of the lake? Why on earth would you do that? I'm a hunter. Sent to kill you. And you spare me. Oh, don't deny it. You had plenty of openings in my defense where you could have finished me off. Not to mention when you kicked me to the ground. Why are you keeping me alive? Not going to give me an answer, huh? I suppose it doesn't matter that much to me. I'm not dead. Though I would still like to know why I'm being kept that way. But if you saved me, that means... You degenerate son of a bitch. Why did you strip me? To make sure that I was unarmed or something? Don't look at me, you... You creep. Would you have rather frozen to death? I suppose not. I... I see. You took them off because they were soaked in ice water, and I would have died if I kept wearing them. Wait, if that's my coat drying over there, that means... Is this yours? Why do they have a hunter's coat? Now that I think of it, they're wearing the full uniform. Looks a little different from mine, but it must be one. Am I hungry? Oh, I'm starving. But I think you'll need to start the fire back up. It's almost out. But you just picked those up from the ground. You, you know why there's going to be able to burn. They're still wet from the snow. Oh. I suppose having the ability to control fire is good for more than just destroying things. But if you can do that, why not just cook that rabbit over your hand? Or instantly. Because charcoal isn't good for you. <laughs> so you can control your fire well enough to set your sword ablaze, even though steel doesn't burn. But you can't cook a measly rabbit. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop. I meant no offense. But it is still a little funny. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, no. You're not going to lay down in this bedroll with me. Yes, I'm still cold. But I will manage. Oh, who am I kidding? I'm freezing. Fine. You can lay down. But only for a bit. And don't try anything. Hmm. Wow. They're so warm. Like a bed warmer that hugs you. I can feel all the cold just leaching out of my body. Why am I reaching for my dagger? Mm, no reason. <sighs> no point in hiding it anymore. You've been nice and all. But you're still my target. I can't allow you to walk away. Not after burning down an entire village of innocent people. Gullible. Who are you calling gullible? I was sent here to do one job, and I'm going to complete it, and that means you have to die. 
No, I am not going to stop pressing this dagger to your heart. They sent me to you, knowing that I wouldn't survive. What idiot would believe that? The Order has never treated me badly. Now that you mention it, yes. There is always that one good hunter that receives an urgent mission during midwinter and never returns. Yes, I do agree that it sounds a little suspicious that it happens every year around the same date. But hunting is a dangerous line of work. Hunters die all the time. And it's not like you can prove that they actually came to you. Wait. These are all hunter's sigil rings. How did you get all of these? That's Jonathan's pendant. He disappeared on a mission almost four years ago. So I guess you were telling the truth. About that, at least. Did I know him? Sort of. He was in charge of training the initiates when I was one. Never really got to know him, though. But he always wore that. I'd recognize it anywhere. Wait, what? Are you suggesting that they send their best hunters to die because they're too good at their job? That's absurd. The Hunter's Order exists to protect people from things like you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? No demons, no money, no money, no hunters. Don't you dare try to be cryptic on me. Hmm. Mm hmm. I guess it makes some sense after all. If the hunters make all the demons go extinct, there is no reason for the Order to keep existing. And then the Grand Master would lose all of his stately income and political influence over the King. So they send away the best hunters to you. And you kill them in self-defense. But still, give me one good reason why I should even trust you. You, the murderous demon who is carrying around a bag of signet rings. Why did you keep them, anyway? Is that some kind of sick trophy to you? To use as proof when telling this story. It does make some sense. But they can't be telling the truth, can they? The mission letter said that this hunt would be easy for someone of my skill, but that was a blatant lie. I didn't even stand a chance when it came down to it. And the way they described them, it was like the Order knew too much to have just heard of this new threat. Very well. I believe you. Despite my better judgment. Did you even do anything they said you did? Killing those villagers, I mean. No. I thought so. You seem way too soft to do something like that. I mean, what kind of murderous beast has the conscience to save their enemy from a cold, watery grave? Give them their bedroll, make a fire to dry their clothes, and go hunting for food to feed them. All for a person that hours earlier tried to kill them. Okay. I'll put away the dagger. Not like it's going to do much to you anyway, considering last night. By the way, demon. What is your name? Oh, an interesting name you've got there. But I expected 
something more, well, not human, I guess. Mine is Anastasia, but people call me Stacy. Sometimes they call me Anna. I suppose people really haven't made up their minds on that. Call me whichever. That's a good question. What am I going to do now that I can't go back to the Hunters? It's not like I can go back if they deliberately sent me here to die. Hmm. I haven't really thought about that yet. Come with you? Seriously? Why would I, a hunter, want to go anywhere with a demon like you? I'm not sure if I can trust you, but I suppose it is better to stick together than going at it alone. And I'd like to get some answers about all of this from the source. But I am warning you, if this turns out to be an elaborate lie, I will kill you. My clothes should be dry by now. The rabbit should be done too. Suppose it's time to get up. We've been walking around for a day and a half. There is no road in sight. Where exactly are we going? Do you have any idea where we're going? I can't see anything but trees and snow for miles. Wait, there's a town close to here? We're in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing here. Don't give me that sly smirk, you. Look up. It's already getting late. No, I am not cozying up to you like I did last night. And no, I did not like it. Don't look at me like that. It was cold, okay? And you're warm. You even melt the snow on the ground around you. Why do you even carry around a bedroll, anyway? It's not like you need one. You seem to keep warm just fine without. Fine. Perhaps I should have asked for permission before dragging your sleeping body into my bedroll and using you as a bed warmer. Now you said there's a town around here. Then where is it? I can't see any smoke or anything. On the other side of the mountain pass. <sighs> All right. I suppose that is reachable before nightfall. <sighs> you didn't say. The pass was going over the mountain. No, I am fine. Really. I suppose I... <laughs> I lied. <sighs> no, I... I can't take that. What about you? 
Won't you just be cold? In your shirt? <sighs> yes, I can walk, but what about you? <sighs> so that's unfair. You can just do that. I suppose it isn't that far of a stretch since you can sleep on the snowy ground and b b be fine when you wake up. Something about this is giving me a slight feeling of deja vu, but I can't quite... Hmm? What? Sorry, <laughs> I was lost in thought. Since when did I start worrying so much about you? Hey, it's not like I care about your well-being all that much. It's just that you make my chances of surviving our mutual endeavor higher. I could ask you the same thing. Why do you care so much? Don't give me that. You obviously care what happens to me. Don't even try to conceal it. Laugh all you want, but you won't be laughing when I spray you with holy water when you're asleep. Glad. Why are you glad? You're glad that I am back to normal. I suppose that does mean I am not seriously hurt. Hey, that means you do care. Oh my goodness, we're saved. I can see the town. Honestly, for a second there, I thought I was going to die up on that godforsaken mountain. Last, it's locked. How are we supposed to get in there now? Play, play along. What? Uh, um, e e e yes, sir. <coughs> Me and my dear sibling are looking for shelter for the night. I, I don't think I can. <coughs> Last out here, much longer. Could you please let two travelers in? Please, kind guardsman. <laughs> that was easier than I expected. You never told me you were such an actor forcing those worry-filled tears. You should be on a stage. Been there, done that. Are you saying you've been on a stage? How old are you, anyway? Why I ask? Well, you seem to have seen so many things and done so much. Too much to fit in a normal lifespan. Aw, oh, come on. Why won't you tell me? Are you embarrassed about your age or something? You're a hundred and sixty-four years old! Ow! Ow! Okay. Okay, I'll be quieter. Sheesh. Well, you look young. Oh, ancient one. <laughs> Sure, I'll stop. But you have to tell me about your adventures sometime. You can start with the stage thing. Oh, oh. I... I'm so sorry I, I brought that up. 
That must have been painful for you. Being treated as a circus animal. Traveling around and daily injections of holy water to keep you from escaping your cage. How old were you then? Only seven. That's horrible. How did you escape? Oh. Oh. I mean, that guard got what he deserved. I don't care that you're a demon. No one should be treated that badly, but... Ripping him limb from limb? Are you sure that was necessary? Your demon part got the better of you. What do you mean? You are a demon, surely. All of you is your demon part. Your mother was a demon, and your father was just a man. So that is why they are hornless, but still have pointed ears, and... Wait. Are those their teeth? They're like small fangs. Oh, so it's my turn now. Well, we'll get to that. Ah, there it is. That's the tavern, right? Must be. It's the only place that makes noise at this hour. Um, the Stag Prince's Folly. Interesting name. Well, it's easy to remember, at least. Shall we head inside? You'll go and arrange us a room. Sure, I'll take a seat over there. That one has had a rough time. Though I fail to understand how they became so gentle. Considering their experiences, they should be the opposite. Why have they attached themselves to me like this? I'm nothing special. Not by their standards, anyway. <sighs> I wonder what time it is. I think they have a pocket watch somewhere in their coat. Ah, here we are. This watch. It's... But, but that's impossible. This can't possibly be... Oh, um, hello. You're back. No, no, I... I wasn't rummaging through your things out of boredom. <laughs> uh... You wanted me to tell you something about my past. Sure. Where do you want to begin? Alright then. What I did before I was a hunter. Well, not much, really. I was a waitress at a small tavern back when I was around 11 years old. Or was I 12? No, definitely 11. Anyway, during my 11th birthday, mother and father had taken me to the city. We were quite wealthy, from what I understand. At the time, I was still a bit too young to really get to know anything about our family's finances. I lived a carefree life, until that day. It was cold, much like today. We were walking home from a bit of shopping that we had done, but out of nowhere, Mother was dragged into a dark alley by the street. It was a demon, a bloodthirsty one. All we heard were her screams. Father, of course, drew his rapier and decided to go in after her. He told me to stay close to him, so I did. I was so scared. By the faint light of a lantern, I saw what was left of my mother. It looked like she had been mauled by a bear. There were deep claw marks 
all over her body. Father screamed for the monster to show itself, which it shortly did. He looked just like anyone you would pass on the street, except those eyes. Deep, sanguine red, piercing with hunger, his fingers ended with claws and his teeth that of a predator. <laughs> No, I'm... I'm fine. I can go on with the story. <sighs> Father was brave. He did manage to hurt the demon, but when Mother reanimated, <laughs> he didn't stand a chance. He was torn apart in front of my eyes, and all I could do was cry. And seeing the feral remains of my mother rip my father apart. I tried to scream for help, but none came, and I knew I was going to die. Then from the darkness came my savior, a cloaked hunter charged the beast. The hunter killed the first demon in one fell sweep, and what was left of my mother in the second? Yeah, yes, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. <sighs> At first, I was just as afraid of the hunter as the demons they had slain, but the hunter reached out to me and asked if I had anyone else left. And all I could answer was a weak no. I remember them kneeling down and giving me their coat to cover my blood-stained clothes. And they told me this. I can't just leave you here. Come with me. I'll make sure you're fed you will have to work for that food. I co-own a small tavern here in the city. How about working there? And I remember the hunter's words, because they were so warm and kind in their tone. So I went and accepted their offer. And I worked and lived there for two years. I liked it. Meeting people and such. Even though some weren't very nice drunks, but the hunter that I so looked up to always kicked them out if they tried something funny. I was happy. But that didn't last. The tavern burned down, and I got hurt. I was pulled out of the flames by some of the kind hunter's friends from the Order. When I woke up, in the infirmary, the town's branch of the Hunter's Order. I didn't remember anything about my time at the tavern. Not even the kind hunter's name. Nor their face. The healer said I had gotten a nasty blow to the head, and that it might be the reason for my broken memories. But I don't know. After that, I became an initiate, motivated by revenge. I wanted to kill the bastard, but it destroyed my new family, the people of the Eliza's Rest Inn. And eventually, I had become a full hunter when I was about 17. And now, here we are, five years after that. Not much more to tell. I know. It was quite a long story, but you are such a good listener, and I couldn't really stop myself. It was good to get that out of my system. I feel... strangely... lighter. Yeah, I agree. It's getting late. 
We should probably get some sleep. You did get us separate rooms, right? Only one room left. Please say it had two beds in it. Thank the stars. Turn around. Because I said so. Now, do it. You can turn back around now. And do your thing. I'll be going off to sleep now. Can you blow out the candles? Thank you. What was I thinking? Revealing my whole life story like that. It's not like me at all, but... I just get some strange feeling from them. Like, deep down, I know I can trust them. But why? Maybe... maybe I should just wake up before them try to leave in the morning. I'm sure they'll understand. What is this feeling? Guilt. Why would I feel that over a stranger? A half-demon, no less. What should I do? If only you were here, maybe it would all just become clear. Good morning, demon. Have you slept? Well? Where have they gone? I was supposed to be the one to leave. Looks like I don't need to go through the trouble of sneaking away. <sighs> but then... Why do I feel so... alone? Have I grown accustomed to their presence? I... I suppose... I will miss them if I never see them again. They were so kind. I wouldn't have minded them staying. Their warm laughter and... kindness and combat ability. And warm touch. I, I mean staying, just as a close friend, of course. They're a traveling companion. What, what got into me? This is so very unlike me to daydream like this. What, what has gotten into me all of a sudden? What, what time is it? watch. I shouldn't have taken this. I should not have taken this. But I had to. This watch. There's... There's something about it. But what? It feels like it feels, it feels like I should know, but I can't. There's nothing. There's nothing. I can't remember. Why? Why can't I remember? Why? Why can't I remember? <laughs> Oh 
What's that? Is there someone there? No. I'm alone. I've always been alone. Ever since the fire. None of the other hunters ever cared. They'd never come looking for me. They'd just write my name on the killed in action list. Just another name. Another casualty. Why are you here? Didn't... <laughs> didn't you... Oh, you were out to the bakery. You wanted to get fresh bread. Thank you. Oh, it's still hot. No, no, I, I can hold it. It's... it's fine. <laughs> Why am I crying? Um... Damn, that pretty, concerned, kind face. I can't tell them. Not now. It's just that, uh, I haven't eaten warm bread in what feels like an eternity. I was stalking you for weeks, you know. Waiting for my moment to strike. <laughs> yeah. I, I guess it didn't turn out like I thought it would. But I think this is a better outcome than the alternatives. Don't you? That's good. I was, um, actually worried that you'd left me behind. You wouldn't do that. You're just saying that. Everybody does. Sooner or later. Mother and father. Cloaks. Oh, no, you, you, you wouldn't know. It's the nickname I gave to the hunter who saved me. They always wore this dark blue cloak over their coat. So I just gave them the name. Thank you. Thank you. No one's given me a hug for so long. I think I needed this. Someone told me. You know, when you hug me like this, it just makes me feel like my worries Anxieties melt away. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know that we're on a revenge mission and all, but you've never told me why you're on it. So, why are you? What did the hunters ever do to you? I sense it's not just because you are what you are. You don't want to talk about it. I suppose that's fair, for now. But I've told you all about who I am. Isn't it fair you do the same for me? 
All right. If you say, you'll tell me eventually. I'll wait. But I will keep you to that. I wouldn't want to be fighting with someone who has some silly motive for their vendetta. <laughs> all right, all right. If you say it isn't, in that voice, I'll have to trust you. But you shouldn't have to carry the weight of your past alone. Um, I, I'll be there to help you. I'll listen. Like you listen to me. Why I care? Well, I have to pay you back somehow. You've been such a good listener. Consoling me. Not to mention saving my life. I owe you a lot, you know. What is this strange sensation in my stomach? My heart is racing. What is this? Is being this close to them causing this? I actually kind of want to be clingy. No! I'm not going to be clingy. Even if I really want to be. Was, was I clinging before? I can't remember. Um... Can... Can I hold onto your arm? I know it's quite the strange thing to ask, especially since we've only known each other for four days, but... Can I? Why do I want to hold onto it? I'm... I don't... I don't really know why. It's just that I want to, I guess. It just feels right. I can't explain it. You let me? You let me hold onto your arm like those sappy lovey dovey couples do. I didn't think you'd say yes. But I've gotten this far, so I will take you up on that. This feels better than I ever imagined it would. Makes that strange feeling I have in my gut grow, but it does make my heart rate go down. It feels nice. Not just nice. Really nice. Ugh, I'm starting to sound like some maiden in a sappy romance novel. I never would have thought I would have come to this. Do I? No, that's wrong. It can't be. But their parents did. And now they are here. So, why shouldn't it work? But it's unnatural. Humans shouldn't be with demons like that. There are natural predators. What if I wake up one day, and they're trying to eat me? That never happened to their parents. Not that they've mentioned, anyway. And his mother was a full demon. A powerful one at that, considering her offspring here, but... Um, did you say something? Oh, I'm sorry. I was thinking about how I was going to take my revenge. Yes. How to take my revenge. We've arrived at the train station. So that is why you brought us here to this town. The train. Well, I suppose that is the fastest way to get to the capital. Um... Why is everyone looking at us? Because we are dressed in hunter's attire. But why don't people like the hunters? In the capital, they even throw a parade every year to celebrate the hunters who have died in action. Uh, 
I had no idea that the other hunters were like that. Causing so much unnecessary destruction. So many deaths. Wait, are you saying that they burned down parts of this town at one point? And pinned it on you? I must be really good at covering things up. No one knows any of this in the capital. They are just as bad as the demons. Is this why you want to end the hunter's order? In part? You want to stop people from suffering the same fate you did at the hands of the hunters. I see. That is quite a noble goal. It makes me feel a bit bad about mine. I shouldn't feel bad. But my vengeance is selfish. I want to get back at them. For using me by manipulating my hatred and anger. From a night I can barely remember. And a loss. It feels both close and distant at the same time. You think it's all right to be selfish. But, uh, yes, I, I suppose I've tried to be a good hunter. Always doing my best not to cause too much damage and keep people alive. Even if I had to put my own life on the line. You think it's all right. Since I always think of everyone else's safety before my own. But I'm just following Cloak's example. The hunters always told me that it didn't matter what happened to people, just as long as the target was eliminated. But I just remembered Cloak's words. We exist to protect the people, not to kill demons. And I held on to them, some of the few things I had left of them. I wanted to make the people of the inn my old home. I wanted to make them proud of me. You think they're proud of me? You really do. You, you always really know what to say. Don't you? Oh, you want me to let go of your arm. S sorry, I, I didn't squeeze it too tightly, did I? I'm really, really sorry if I did. I... Oh, you were just going to go buy the ticket. All right, I'll see you soon then. I'll wait here. You're back. Did you get the tickets? When does the train leave the station? You got a last minute train. It's leaving in five minutes. We have to go. Now. <sighs> that was a close one. We almost missed it. Couldn't you have chosen a car closer to the Koask? Luckily, we don't have any luggage. Number 34 and 35. 34 and 35. Ah, here are our seats. Is it alright if I take the window seat? Thanks. It says here on the tickets that we will arrive at the capital at five o'clock. Oh, um, what time is it now? Um, it 
It's a uh, quarter past one. Watch. Where did you get this watch? No, please, I have to know. Did you... Did you... Did you kill cloaks? Did you? What are you talking about? Show me what happened. Look into your eyes. How, how is that going to show me? Oh. Where's this place? Demon? Demon, where are you? I'm sorry for shouting at you. But I had to try asking you about the watch. What's happened to my hands? They're so small. Where's this place? How did I get into a forest, and how is it summer? Where is the train? Where is my demon? Little one. Little one, where are you? Mother and father are looking for you. It's dinner time. Who is she? My sister? But I don't... I don't have... There you are, little one. Mother and father are looking for you. We've been worried sick. You know you're not supposed to be outside after dark. Are those horns? Wait, is this... Hey there, you little rascal. Are you listening to me? You spaced out, didn't you? Well, come on. We need to get home. It's not safe for us outside the village. Take my hand. It's time to go. You know, little one, another couple moved into the village today. And they're just like mother and father. It's fun that there are more people living here in peace, demons and humans alike. But I am slightly worried. Father and mother can't protect us from everything. And the bigger we get the more of a threat will be perceived as. I want to grow up quickly, so that I can help them. I want to protect you, sister. Mother and father, too. I want all of the people here in the village to be safe. Why did I say that? The words just ran out of my mouth. <laughs> That's good to hear, little one. I noticed that you've been starting to be able to make fire, just like Mother. I never really got that to work myself. I suppose I inherited Mother's looks, and not her powers. These horns and eyes aren't going to be much good in a... I think you look pretty. I wish I had claws, too. Then I could carve things on the trees, just like you can. Ah. Sometimes I can't help but smile at you, little one. You can be so cute sometimes. Mm. Run. No. 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 Little one, we have to go. Come now. Follow Sister Eliza. But why? 
Mother wanted us to go home, right? Eliza. Where have I heard that name before? It feels familiar. You know one of those mind messages that Mother told you about? Well, I got one from her. Telling us not to come home. There are bad people there. Father's old friends. And you remember his stories about the bad, evil hunters? Yes, I do. They don't, they don't like people like us. No, they don't. And mother and father don't want us to come home because they are defending the townspeople from them. So we have to run, okay? Okay. But what about mother and father? They'll come find us later. Oh no, they found us. Get on my back, it will be faster that way. Shh, shh, shh. it's okay, it's all right, we'll be fine. We are going to live, we are going to be fine. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Little one, are you there? Are you alive? <laughs> I'm all right. Um, that hurt. But I'm all better now. <laughs> Good. Then run. Run. Leave me here. You have you have to live. <laughs> I'm not leaving you here to die. I'll take you to someone that can make you better, even if I have to drag you. Please. Please, no more. I can't stand this anymore. My... Your feelings, they're too much to bear. <laughs> Damon, if you can hear me, please release the spell. I can't... I can't go on anymore. <laughs> Where and when am I now? My hands look larger now. And this coat and sword. And this street. There's something familiar about it, but... It's... It's me. This is the day I... Oh no. I'm too late. No, the girl is still alive. <clears throat> I can't just leave you here, little one. Come with me. I'll make sure you have some place to stay and that you're fed. Though you will have to work for that food, bed, and board. I co own a small tavern here in the city. How about working there? That is a far better fate than living on the streets. Believe me. Is that how they really sounded? They were so... sad. I'd completely forgotten. Was it the fire? Or maybe I distorted it on my own. Did you help me? Because you were called something similar. <laughs> Demon, is that why you showed me your sister's fate? <laughs> Come with you. Mother. Father. Dead. 
blood, so much blood. <laughs> You're in shock. Here. I bought this hard candy for myself, but you need them more than I do. Thank you. Oh! There, there. Y you'll be alright. You'll be alright. Now, come on. Let's get back to my inn and you out of those bloody clothes. Good day, cloaks. Did your hunt go well? Are you alright? Not hurt anywhere. Should I take your sword? Wow. Was I really glowing like that? I wonder if cloaks ever thought I was annoying. No, I'm quite alright, little one. How's business going here? It is going good. Sometimes it can get a little scary in the evenings, but, but it's all right now. You're here after all. You'll protect me, right? <laughs> I promise I will. To the best of my ability. Now would you be so kind as to give me the usual? <laughs> One cloak special coming right up. I'll see you in a bit. Your usual table is free. Could you bring it up to my room instead, little one? I feel like going to sleep. Oh, alright. I've made up your room since last time you were here. I hope you like it. You know you don't have to do that. You're not my maid. You're a waitress here. I'm quite capable of cleaning my own room. Oh, I know. But I want to be helpful to you. Since I can't fight. And you won't teach me. I have to pay you back somehow. You're always helpful. You remind me of what I fight for. I'll be going upstairs now. Was that my old self? I used to behave like I was a love-struck schoolgirl. Well, I assume part of me is still like that. Considering how clingy I was today, some things never change, I guess. At least I can recognize myself somewhat. Welcome to a life of rest, good hunters. Would you like me to take your order? Oh, um, you're here to see the owner? What for? I'm, I'm afraid they're quite busy at the moment. Demon? What are you talking about? Uh, what? No! What's that? You're gonna set the place on fire! Stop! Let go of me! Cloaks, help! So this is it. Let go of that child. Speak to me, you cowards. Let. Her. Go. Now. Cloaks. Cloaks, is it true? Are you? Yes, I am a demon. But does it matter what I am? I protect people. I saved you. And still they want my head on a spike. All I ever wanted was to live in peace. But these corrupted crusaders wouldn't let me. Let us have that. Come on. Little one, little one, are you all right? Anna, please wake up. Don't die on me here. She has no heartbeat. What am I going to do? I'm not going to let you die. Maybe. No, I, I can't. I could kill her or worse. But 
I have no other choice. Ow. You're going to be okay. All right, little Anna? I'm just going to give you some of my blood. If I had been a full demon, you would become one too. But I have no idea what this is going to do to you. But please, just... Just wake up. You... You're alive. Did I... Did I miss something? I had no idea any of this happened. But they were so worried about me. No. Not really. <laughs> This is going to be hard, okay? But I will have to leave you now. It is no longer safe for you to be with me. No, you can't leave me. I'll come with you. I... I can't lose you too. I don't care that you're a demon. I don't care. Please. Please. It is too dangerous. For you to be with me. The hunters will come for me now. But I will find you again. We will meet again. Anna. Please forgive me. Look into my eyes, little one. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you will have to forget me. Forget me. It is not safe for you to remember me. They will come for you. They will try to use you to get to me. It is best this way. I am sorry for not being strong enough to protect you like I promised. Now sleep. And you'll be at peace without me. No. No. I, I, I don't want to forget you. Never. I don't. I don't. I don't want to forget. I, I don't. Forgive me. What just happened? Ah, uh, I had the strangest... Oh, it wasn't a dream, was it? No, I thought so. Wait, your... <laughs> cloaks... It, it really is you. I... I've missed you so much. I'm sorry for screaming at you earlier, and I'm sorry for trying to kill you, but I didn't... I didn't... <laughs> I think it's alright. Well, well, no, I, I didn't remember your face, but... You forgive me. Cloaks, I... <sighs> You're sorry for not being able to restore my memories and for showing me all of that pain. Don't worry. I know why you did it. It was the second best way, wasn't it? If you couldn't restore my memories, then at least you could show me what happened from your perspective. I am right, aren't I? Well, I can say now that 
You haven't really changed much. And you're still burdened by being unable to keep your promise, aren't you? Come here. Put your head on my chest. I forgive you. As far as I am concerned, you kept your promise. No buts. You fought your best, didn't you? I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. I forgive you. You know, now that I have an answer to the question of the pocket watch, I have a confession to make. I... I love you. I'm pretty sure I loved you even when I was a kid. Though I knew you wouldn't see me as more than a child. I, I guess the feelings lingered in the back of my head all this time. And you triggered them. You made them come back to life with your presence. You made me fall in love with you again that time by the frozen lake, after you saved me. Wait, what time is it? Oh, right, I've got the watch. It's already half past four. I was asleep for that long. We should be in the capital soon. Do I still want revenge against the hunters now that you're back? Of course I do. With what I've seen in your memories, and what you've told me, shown me, I can't forgive their crimes. The hunters have to pay. Um... Hey, cloaks. Can... can I kiss you? Really? Uh, Alright, uh, um... Th here we go. That felt good. Tingly. Um... <laughs> Can... can we... can we do that again? This is not how I thought that my reunion with Cloaks was going to go. But I suppose that this... This is better than anything I could have imagined it to be. I... I'm so happy. I want to feel like this forever. Losing them. Please say we've lost them. <clears throat> uh, uh, that <laughs> Yes, I'm keeping pressure on it. Uh, not helping with the paint, though. At least <laughs> we got our revenge. Right? <laughs> Uh, the hunter's order is about to descend into chaos without leadership. Look out! Huh. Huh. 
Do you think that's going to stop cloaks? It will take far more than that to kill them. No, no, not hurt, but that was a lot of silver. Are you going to be all right? You're right. There's no time. Uh, uh, uh. We should go. If there are any other hunters around, they're going to come right to us. Not to mention the city guard. Uh, 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 can we sit down? I need to rest. My legs are going to give out. I know there's no time to rest, but I can't go on. Are you sure you can just carry me and still run? You can just leave me. If it means that you will live, I'll gladly make that sacrifice, love. You're not leaving me behind. But why? If you're going to die, I'm dying with you. Cloaks, I... <laughs> Put me down. Please. It, hurt, it hurts to breathe. Over there, in the shed. That looks good enough. Seems this is it for me. <laughs> Cloaks. <sighs> I'm bleeding out. The bleeding. It's not gonna stop. No matter what I do, I. I don't wanna go. <laughs> now that I've gotten you. Now that I've gotten you back, I. I don't want to lose you again. <laughs> I would like you to kiss me, but... <coughs> My mouth... It's full with blood. <sighs> oh, I, I know you don't want to go. <sighs> and I don't either. But it seems that this is it. For what it was worth. All of my best memories. They were with with you. I love you so much. And I will never leave you. Okay? I'll stay by your side. Even in death. <coughs> Good. Goodbye. Cloaks.
happened. <laughs> I feel... <clears throat> so... So hungry. <sighs> the hunger is going to fade. It doesn't feel like it will. It hurts. It hurts so much. <sighs> what happened to me? It's like something's burning in my veins. You did what? You turned me. You gave me this pain. This hunger. I... I... What is that smell? Is the what a human smells like to you? It's good. I I have to go closer. Why are you stopping me, love? <laughs> I just want to move in closer to them. No, 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 no. I'm not going to hurt them. I just want to go a little closer, is all. Their smell is just drawing me to them. I need to go over there. You, you won't let me. How are you going to stop me? You are pumped full of silver. How could you stop me? You're barely able to stand. <laughs> I'm going to feed, even if I have to kill you for it. Feral. Me. Nonsense. I am in complete control. And right now, I want to feed. <coughs> Remember who I am. Remember. I am. I, I am. What, what was I thinking? Please, please make it stop. I, I don't, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you. I, I just tried to kill you. And I was so close. I'm a monster. <laughs> what? You... you don't smell that scent. Not anymore? How... How long will I have to endure it? I don't want to hurt anyone. But the smell... It's driving me crazy. It's taking all I've got to try and keep myself together. Maybe a few days? What do you mean, maybe a few days? Is this painful now? I... I don't think I can take it. What? What are you doing? No. No, no. I'm not going to feed on you. I... But... Their blood smells... So good. Even better than the humans. 
and... and... No, no, I don't want it. What if I hurt you? I don't want to hurt you. Please. You have to restrain me. I'm not going to be able to... to keep it in much longer. <laughs> Coats. I'm scared. Could you hold me? Please. Like you did a few days ago. I want to feel you. I want to know that you're here. No. No, I'm not going to drink your blood. I'm not going to hurt you. No matter how painful it is without it. Don't, don't, don't tempt me, please. You want to give me a kiss? <laughs> Alright. So you still love me? Even after acting like that? Even after trying to kill you? Why? You don't care. But... <laughs> I guess that proved you still do. You knew something like this would happen, and you did it anyway, just to save me. Do you really love me that much? I I'm just some girl that you saved years ago. What makes me so special to you? That I'm me? You think I'm special because I'm me? I don't understand. Because I was the only one that never feared you. Because I was the one that always cared. He also fell for me at the ice lake. Okay, so you didn't think of me like that when I was little. I thought so. But seeing me grown up and that I hadn't changed a bit, still trying to follow your example, even after all these years, and that I still didn't fear you like everyone else always had, You. You really love me, don't you? I'm having a hard time accepting it. I don't have the first-hand experiences of my previous self. I was re-raised to be a hunter, and no one ever loved me. The faded memories of you was the only thing that I had left. I clung on to them. My only respite from the horrifying training regimens that I had to go through to endure. But now I have you. The real you. To hold me close like this. <sighs> I'm I'm getting sleepy. You're going to have to stay hugging me like this. I I don't want to wake up with that hunger. I wouldn't go away and kill someone because I've lost control. You're sleepy too. Okay then, I guess. 
we can just... <sighs> Sleep like this. Okay. Good, good night then. I hope you sleep well, despite what's happened. Mm. Mm. Good morning, love. How are you feeling? Love? Are you still asleep? Wake up. It's morning. And uh, I don't feel the bloodlust as badly as I did last night. Y you, You can let go of me now. Cloaks? Oh no. These wounds. So, so much blood. Bullet wounds. And claw marks from me. No, 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 no. Cloaks, you can't be you. You can't be dead. No, they're not. They're, they're just a really heavy sleeper. Come on, dear, it isn't funny anymore. Wake up. Wake up. Please. Please wake up. Don't leave me again. Please. I don't want to be alone. Please. 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 Please don't leave me. <laughs> There you are, little one. It's Big Sister. Eliza. I am so happy to be able to talk to you again. It's been so long. My goodness, you've grown. You were so small when I had to leave you behind. But even though I died, I still watched over you all this time. Even though mother and father are waiting for me. For us. In the afterlife. Are you dead? Yes. At the moment you are, anyway. But I want to have a talk with you. I haven't been able to for about... What has it been? 158 years. That is a lot of time apart. Well, apart from your point of view. I haven't been stuck looking out for you for all that time, mind. But I'd take a look maybe once a week to see how you have it. Mother and, and father are really proud of how you ended up. I am really proud of you too. Not just because you ended up naming your inn after me. That was sweet. But how, despite how cruel the world has been to you, and the proof of that achievement is sitting right there, weeping over your body. She really loves you, you know. I hope you understand that. It is good that you do. Mother never thought you would find your mate this quickly, though. <laughs> she is quite the catch. Mother didn't find her mate, father, until she was around her 500th year or so. Sadly, she can't come here. Nor can father. They are content and have no regrets in this world, so they cannot come back. Why am I still here? Because of you, silly. You haven't changed a bit, have you? 
I still regret leaving you. It's not enough to hold me here. But I can still return here if I want to. You see, little one, I guess you aren't so little anymore. But I guess I'll keep calling you that. You'll always be little to me. But I digress. You see, little one, you have a choice. Either you can come with me and stay with me and mother and father in the afterlife, or <laughs> you're staying. You didn't even allow me to finish. I'm sure this is a dumb question, but are you sure? There's a lot of suffering yet to come. You don't want to leave because of Anna. I can see how much her sadness and pain is causing you suffering. So I won't keep you here much longer. How do you go back? Oh, you just have to touch your body. But before you go, can you give your big sister a hug? It is going to be quite a while before I will get the chance to get one from you, after you go back. You know, I and the people back home love you very, very much. And we will always do so. And no matter where you are, I will always watch over you from beyond the veil. All right. Now go. Go back to Anastasia. I think we've kept her waiting long enough. Goodbye. Goodbye, little one. <laughs> they are really dead. They sacrificed themselves to save me. <laughs> but without that, I have nothing left. Wait, did their finger just twitch? No, why would it? Cloaks is gone. Is that? No, it's not possible. You. You're alive. I thought I had lost you forever. I'm I'm so happy that you are still with me. Don't ever scare me like that ever again. How I feel. I feel like I am on top of the world. Now that you're alive. The thought of losing you. The feeling of losing you. Something I never, I never want to feel again. Oh, you mean the hunger. It's still there, but it, it is a lot quieter now. I don't need to struggle like I had to last night. It's good to see you alive. But now that we've gotten our respective revenges... What do we do now? Y you want to live with me? Of course I want to live with you, silly. I would like nothing more. I wanted that. Even before. But I didn't intend to tell you that. And I would have turned you down if you'd asked. Why? Simply... Because you would have outlived me. And my inevitable death, as a mortal, would have caused you so much pain. And if I could protect you from that, then I would. Even at the cost of my own happiness. But now that you've turned me, there's no need to worry. 
I'll live as long as you will. And we can have a long, long, long life together. Do you want to get out of here? I won't be burned by the sun, will I? Since I am, uh, feral and all. No? Well, I guess I'll, I'll trust you. Sprite. I feel so good, you know? It has been such a blessing meeting you. Yes, it has been painful. <laughs> it even killed me twice. But in the end, it was worth it. For you. Oh, <laughs> you, uh, you have a way with words, you know that, Cloaks. Your feelings are so beautifully conveyed. Come on, Cloaks, you slowpoke. Come on. <laughs> there are new adventures for us to go on. New sights for us to see, and new things for us to experience. Our new life awaits us. Together. <laughs>